don't like the term Trumpism. Yeah. Any ism assumes ideology, and there is no ideology to Trumpism specifically. What we use the term Trumpism for is for the far right. Um, the far right has existed well before Trump and will exist far after Trump. Trumpism, in the narrow sense of pretty much a movement based around Trump as the person, um, I think has always been pretty weak. And again, if he had run as a third party candidate, he would have been lucky to get 10 to 12%. His success was on winning the Republican primary, which you can do with a very small portion of the voter. Um, I think personally that Trumpism is over. Um, Trumpism is over as a political phenomenon in the sense that it, he will still influence the Republican Party, um, at least until the midterm election. But I cannot see Trump devoting most of his time now out of office to politics. He is going to devote most of his time to making money, which he probably needs according to all of the information that we have. And so he will be on TV a lot because that's good for money. He will give lectures and whatever, um, but he's not building an organization to, to um, take over the Republican party. And, and I personally don't see him come out as the candidate in 2024. Right, okay. What about his sons who seem to be uh, interested in politics? Yeah, he has two sons, like, well, three actually, but we, we ignore ben and, uh, Baron. We have uh, Eric and we have Donald Jr. And Donald Jr. is, um, is, is the one. Like, and there's something bizarre about this because Jair Bolsonaro also has a son that is a crazy right wing and Benjamin Netanyahu as well. Um, and so Donald Trump Jr., much more than Donald Trump Sr., is a truly far right person steeped in the ideas of it. He's not ideological in the true sense, but he's far more connected to the far right subculture, kind of the old right subculture. Um, He's also very popular within a group called Turning Point USA, which is a very large group uh, on campuses in the US, which are pretty much just have become Trump cheerleaders and Donald Trump Jr. very often speaks for them. I cannot personally see Donald Trump Jr. fill in the shoes of his father. Um, one of the things that's very hard to understand if you don't live in the U.S., and even for me, I moved here 12 years ago, Donald Trump is, an, is like a cultural icon. Like Donald Trump went into the Republican primaries with the same name recognition, maybe more, as Jeb Bush. Like Jeb Bush had his name recognition for his father and, and grandfather, Donald Trump is known by almost anyone in the US. That, that is, this is not a very informed country, so that is amazing. M many people don't know Donald Trump Jr. He doesn't have that aura of the American businessman. Um, four years is not enough to build a political dynasty. Right? And so I think, I think he might want to but he will not have the same appeal within the party.